good evening to this uh, roundtable. My name is uh, Shug Sahadavan. I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Test House Limited. We are a, a QA and a QC consultancy company, which is quality assurance and quality control. We focus heavily on um, on uh, D365, uh, which is one of our core strengths. I've been playing in the Dynamics Microsoft CRF space since 2002, since version 1.0. I have seen a lot of problems that come about through inadequate or even completely absent training and education. The first and probably the most obvious is a lack of end user training. The second is where we have the technical people on the project who have done a bit. The third area that causes problems where business people who argue that it's not their role to know what is in the technology before they start. Lots of customers who've gone into using uh, D365 without training and uh, the people who use it then sort of find themselves uh, blaming the product and saying the product is not good because they're used to something a little bit different. Last 35 years I've been involved in many many digital transformation programs of various worth from 5 million to 100 million to uh, 560 million. The best place to start is requirements uh, and understanding the requirements or, and and taking it up to the next level uh, from a, an assurance perspective is, is identifying the purpose. What is the purpose that the, the business are trying to achieve by implementing D365? One of the other pitfalls that uh, I come across is, is that people don't think about the environments that are required for testing. Products like D365 are released quarterly, monthly, half yearly with major patches, minor patches. You need the legacy there. You need that environment footprint to allow you to keep progressing and progressing at speed. Make sure you build a team. Make sure you build a team that is multifunctional. Make sure it supports the end user, the development team, the business analysts, and it supports you. You pull all that together, you'll have a successful implementation. As uh, Peter mentioned, that you, you should take it out of the box and and, uh, and and try not to make any changes to it. But if you do make changes to it and you do want to test it, you need to have people who understand the workflow and who understands D365 uh, from day one to be able to add value so they can if they if they're coming in as testers on you know for testing a D365 project, it's good to have people who have D365 knowledge, especially on the modules that you're implementing, to come and work with you from the early days so they can understand the the requirements and 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 to to map it out early on. Um, I've worked in the CRM space now for in excess of 18 years, helping various organisations of sizes, complexities, and diversities um, in their operations. But what's important, what are the, what's the organization trying to achieve with its CRM when it's implemented it? What does it want to look differently for the organization in a year, two years, five years time? What is it going to take to deliver a quality implementation? So then make sure that the business case has all the attributes it needs, including costings, which are appropriate for the skilled resources you may need, the, the business will need to be heavily involved um, in the implementation as we go through. CRM implementation is a business transformation program. It's not an IT put a bit of kit on the desk and turn it on program. You need a solution like Dynamics that's very flexible and can provide many businesses with a richness of functionality and data and reporting. But if you have that sitting on someone's desk and they're not prepared to use it, they're not bought into it, they're not adding that richness of data uh, to the system as part of their operations, then it really is an expensive piece of kit with lots of WYSI functionality that will never be realized and never bring the return on investment. And I don't class testing as a, a, an IT function, and I'm sure Peter will, will agree with that. It's making sure that the scope of the program that was um, provided in the business case is actually being delivered 
at the end in terms of richness of capability for the organization to perform better, more efficiently, and get market lead with their competitors. I'm uh, Stefano from Italy. I'm MBA, as uh, Saga said, an MVP for business application. And uh, I'm also an associate certified Arctic and, and DevOps engineer. I work in Italy uh, as an head of development team for an Italian Microsoft partner that uh, has the mission to develop uh, Dynamics 365 solutions on different markets. Uh, we work with small and medium and large uh, companies. So I think that uh, I see all problems that uh, all these uh, categories of companies have. From small companies to the largest companies, I see that the, 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 main, the main problem, that uh, the major problems of difficulties that I observe when adopting Dynamics 365 solution can be, uh, in my opinion, grouped into some categories. The first, it can be the rigidity in changing business process to adapt them to the software. Another problem, technical problem that I see is uh, often is the lack of trust in moving uh, their business to, to a cloud solution. Uh, another problem is, is often, technical problem is often relating to uh, historic, historical data. The main problem that I see is the methodologies they, they approach as the standard IT uh, renewable or IT process. I think that the work practices uh, can help you on making the software release faster, controlled, uh, guarantee quality assurance. Thank you all very much.